and I'm the creator of Bharat in Germany. Welcome everybody to the exclusive series with Expatrio where we are talking about different kind of things related to blocked account and your moving process of um, going to Germany. So in this one, we are going to actually talk about a super important topic, which is blocked account. And I know many of you might know about it. Many of you who are maybe on the earlier stage might still be new to this. But if I share with you the... Hey guys, my name is Bharat Oops. I'm the creator of Bharat in Right. So it was me speaking again. Uh, so in the checklist for the German national visa for students, you will see that there is a section which says that you have the proof of financial means to be shown to the embassy. And there they have confirmation of scholarships, which is again like very difficult to get many times because most of the German public universities are tuition free. So the, the chances there are like not so nice. Once you enroll in the university, then of course you have a lot more options. Then you have the Verpflichtungserklärung or which is the sponsorship or obligation letter by a sponsor living in Germany. This is again like not something for everybody. But then you have the option of blocked account. And blocked account is a way where you can just transfer your money, transfer your money, which is specified by the German government into a account. And then you are getting the money back month by month. Now, for this, we have been recommending since last two years Expatrio because of their good service and the affordable prices for the students. And because of the same thing, we have again today Dom with us. Welcome, Dom. Thank you. Hello together. Hi. Yeah. So Dom is going to like explain a bit more about blocked account and about what Expatrio has been doing, what kind of different kind of advantages and benefits students have. So Dom, I will let you have the mic now virtually <laughs> and you can like start telling us about the uh, story yeah yeah great um so thanks Bharat. um and again hello to everyone um yeah so today as Bharat already explained um i will show you how easy it is to apply for the blocked account because um, it is super necessary for your visa and uh, we found a way to make it as simple as possible um i will just quickly tell you a few words about Expatrio. So we have a slogan, relocation made easy. Um, so we are a relocation platform for international students and also expatriates wishing to live in Germany. Um, we offer an all-inclusive service to minimize all the bu bureaucracy for students you have to face with when moving to Germany. And this is super important. Um, this customized digital solution enables you to open the blocked account and health insurance products um, on a very simple way. And of course, um, this is everything approved by the Federal Foreign Office. Mm -hmm. So this is very important uh, to know for everyone. Um, this What we are doing is um, officially approved. Um, I will quickly share my screen now and um, let you know how easy it is to apply for mm -hmm. a blocked account. Yeah. So everyone should see my screen now. And again, our slogan, relocation made easy. Mm, the value package is um, yeah, a one in all solution um, you can you can apply for. So I will show you how to how to do it. Um, it is very simple. So the first question we will ask you because we have an exploration before uh, to make it very clear and very efficient what you really need. Um, and um, saving some time on your end because you do not have to read all the content. Barat, for example, also explained how this intro works in Germany, how the block account works in Germany. You will find a very simple way to receive the most important information um, within a few steps in our page. If you are already a customer, you could click yes, and then you can also log in in our login portal. Um, as we're a new customer, we will say, no, um, I do not have an account and I agree next. So then we will ask you, what will you be doing in Germany? Um, so this is a drop down where you can tell us I'm a language student. I will go to Studien, Kollege, um, exchange student, bachelor, master or whatever. So for every life situation, we have a specific offer for you. So we can always make sure that you will have a tailor-made solution that everything you really need, you will receive at the end. Let's say you are a university student in your bachelor. We click next. 
And then we have to ask, what is your age range? This is important because there's always a calculation behind, uh, which means if you are uh, at least 18 years old or uh, and younger than 23, um, the premium for Technica Krankenkasse is a bit less. It's 103 euro and a bit. Um, if you're over 23, but less than 30 years, it's 105 euro 80. Um, so there's a special amount you have to pay uh, for long time insurance. Um, it's not that much in total, um, more or less two euro. Um, but this is additional um, amount you have to pay. Um, sometimes, of course, uh, especially if we are talking about master students, master students are above 30 years old. Um, then you are not able to apply for the Technica Krankenkasse. But for this, there's a substitute with our partner, Dr. Walter. Dr. Walter is doing the business more than six years, um, well experienced, and we have a product uh, you can apply for, uh, which is also uh, recognized at um, the city hall. Um, so you can use this document and register. There's no problem uh, you have to face with. In our case, we are at least 23, younger than 30 years old, and then we easily click next. Then we have to ask the question if you have a child, because if you have a child and you are above uh, 23, um, you do not have to pay this extra amount, I uh, quickly explained. So then at least you have to pay this 103 and, uh, and a few. Mm. We do not have a child, so let's say next. And then, it's basically all to calculate already the total blocked amount you have to transfer to us. We can see very simple, the blocked amount per month. This is the money you will receive in your German bank account at the end um, or in your international bank account. This is not the problem. Um, most important that you have Ivan. Um, then there is a duration of stay. Um, you can you can easily choose from one month till uh, till twelve months. Mm, in general, your visa will be set it up for six to twelve months, uh, so you can easily transfer and calculate your amount. Um, in very specific um, topics, there is also kind of an additional basic sum um, which you could also type in. Let's say you are also receiving a scholarship. Um, then you do not have to transfer this full amount of 853. Let's say maybe you just have to transfer 500 euro. So we type in 500 euro and you see the calculation already changed. So it's live um, and you will always know how much you have to transfer to us. Um, 853 is the current maximum um, people can transfer. And this is also what uh, the Federal Foreign Office is recommending on their page. Let's take a look to the right side where we see the total blocked amount. So as said, you have the monthly amount of 853 euros times 12, which means in general, you um, your required blocked amount is 10,236 euro. And this is exactly the money you will receive back during this period of, of stay, uh, during this 12 months. Monthly wise, 850 euro. Then we are also asking for a so called account buffer. The buffer is just if you transfer money via your bank, maybe you have to pay some fees. Um, if we would receive less than this amount you have to transfer, we have to contact you and you have to transfer money again paying additional fees and so on, super annoying, and it's, of course, time consuming. If this buffer is untouched at the end, you will receive 100 euro back. If there are banking fees, let's say, of 15 euro, you would receive 85 euro back. This is still your money um, if it's untouched. Um, then you can also see there's initial uh, setup fee of 49 euro. This is um, what we uh, receive for the opening and a monthly fee um, of five euro, which is for this 12 months, um, 60 euro. I quickly show you that this will also change. If I just say it's six months, then you can see here, you just have to pay 30 euro for this. As said, um, we are accepted and approved by the German Federal Foreign Office. Um, here you can also see um, that, um, yeah, 
this is um, the, the information again. And you would also see the total blocked amount you have to transfer to us. Um, in this, it's 10,455 euro, which means 10,236 plus 100 plus 49 plus 60. Then you can click next. And then you will have um, a nice overview about the value package. So get your um, all in one solution for your visa and the life in Germany, including a free blocked account setup, a, a free mobility current account, um, and things like this. Um, here we can also see what does it mean in, uh, in each package again. So um, you can uh, always open and you will receive um, additional information. In the block account, for example, super important if your visa should be rejected. And in the current time, this can happen because no one really knows when um, yeah, a person is able to, to come to Germany. Um, we have a money back guarantee in case of visa rejection. So you will receive your money back uh, to, uh, to your account. Uh, where you sent the money from. Um, you will also receive the opening confirmation within 24 hours. So this is super fast. Um, in general, it's also um, even faster, but um, this is our uh, most important uh, target that we are also opening those accounts very, very fast. Mm. Then you are also able, and this is pretty cool, to apply and to open your current account already from abroad. And this is a thing you won't find uh, in the whole market, um, which means you are sitting in India or wherever you are and you're opening the value package. Um, you will also and always receive uh, already an item we can use uh, to transfer the money for your blocked account. And this is super nice because once you're coming to Germany, you do not have to go to a physical bank. You do not have to open a bank account with uh, another provider and send us all the needed information about the item that we can transfer the money. No, everything is already in our system and we can easily transfer the money to this account, which means we will save time, you will save time and you have access super quickly to your money. This is super important. Um, then of course, health insurance. Um, so Techniker Krankenkasse, and this is why we highly recommend Techniker Krankenkasse, is awarded as the best health insurance for 13 times now in a row. So we are not only cheap, we are also working with the best partners for you. And this is um, super important. Um, you will find a 24-7 English customer service hotline with Techniker Krankenkasse. Um, and this is a question people always ask. Um, what can I do with the insurance if I go to a Technica Krankenkasse? Let's make it simple. Um, you have to go to the dentist. You go to the dentist and show your uh, plastic card. It's a uh, European health insurance card uh, you will receive. Um, you show it and um, the doctor will, um, will, will help you. Uh, you can go to the hospital. You can go to a normal doctor. Um, quite simple. And you, and this is the best thing, to be insured with Techniker Krankenkasse or in the public health insurance fund, you do not have to pay in advance. So everything is um, paid by Techniker Krankenkasse directly um, and you do not have to pay uh, for this. Of course, and this is a thing you can also find on their page, if you make professional um, teeth cleaning or whatever, then it can happen that you have to pay uh, some extra costs, but this is a thing you will find. But yeah, let's say you have a um, you have a quick pain, you can go there and um, they will help you. As we are talking about visa requirements, this is the second uh, really important um, product you need for your visa, an incoming insurance. So the incoming insurance um, with Expatria is for free uh, for 92 days and it's valid for uh, 180 days. Um, so which means you do not have to pay once you arrived for 92 days and you can use it. Um, partnering with Dr. Walter, I already said, there are uh, six years of experience with students, so they really know what to do. And um, they are also well known at, uh, at the embassy, as you can also see here, officially accepted worldwide for the German visa application. Um, 
why we recommend um, a German incoming insurance, um, just uh, to make it easy. If there is kind of an accident, um, we can help you with. Um, it's much, much easier for us to uh, to contact our partner uh, than every other insurance provider because, um, yeah, we have we have different time zones and uh, sometimes it's uh, really hard to explain what really happened. Here we can make sure that we also have a direct line to those uh, providers like TK and also Dr. Walter. And as I said, it's for free for 92 days. So there's no extra charge on your end. And then at the end, we have the ISIC student identity card, uh, which means it's um, yeah, a discount card uh, you can use. It's valid in more than 130 countries all over the world. Um, and you have uh, nice discounts you can use. You can um, spend with your friends. Um, yeah, super, super nice. And now the best thing in the value package is there is a 49 euro discount for the blocked account, which means you do not have to pay 109 euro. You will receive a cashback of 49, which means for this 12 months, you just have to pay 60 euro for the blocked account. You will receive all the products here I explained already. And of course, you have to pay for the health insurance, which is in this case, 105 euro and 80 cents. But this is everything you have to pay. And this offer you won't find in the market. I guess Barrett already made a video where he compared the providers. Um, and this is why we are working so successfully together. Um, because as I said, we're not only offering the cheapest, uh, also the best products. Um, then we could say apply now. We would go into the application process, how it looked like. Um, I prepared already. Um, I will quickly show you what, what will happen then. So you will receive an email that you have to log in in our login portal. And um, here in the login portal, you will find any uh, needed information about the products, about the insurance, um, and so on. Um, you can also change your personal data if needed. Um, so let's say you already arrived in Germany, you can, um, you can update your address. Um, you will find all the um, information about the, the, the blocked account, for example, about the health insurance. Here, um, you will also find the certificate uh, from Technica Krankenkasse. I can quickly download this. I can quickly show you. This is how it looks like. So here, Versicherungsbescheinigung, which means this is the certificate of, of the insurance. Um, then this is also an important document for your university. Um, it's Meldung der Hochschule, uh, which you have to provide um, for your enrollment. Um, then it needs to be filled out. Um, but maybe, Barrett, we can also explain in, in, in a future video uh, how exactly to do this, um, because uh, then it's uh, it's also super necessary to um, yeah. to know how it works. Um, and as I said, you will find uh, many uh, information about about your products um, here. Um, here you can see the blocked account at the end, um, the money you transferred. You will also see how much money is left in your account, and you will always find uh, some FAQs you can you can really need. So again, what is expatriate blocked account? What is insurance plus? What is the value package? And things like this. And that's basically how you can open in a very simple way a blocked account, including um, the most important products um, in our value package. Sounds good. Um, I remember Dom how it used to be like absolutely crazy previously when like people were going through different kind of like manual bank uh, branches and then trying to like figure out how do I how do I open the blocked account and stuff before these things got digitalized it was a completely different world and now like things are like 100 times easier yeah absolutely and this is uh, what I what I already said so our mission for for you as, as international students uh, to make it as easy as possible um, because I know it's sometimes um, yeah, super annoying and, and um, also super difficult yeah. um, by myself. I studied also abroad, so I, I know it's a hassle, um, but uh, for that, uh, we, are, we are here for you to make it as easy as possible. Mm -hmm. 
Uh, Dom, there was a quick question that popped up, which was, um, where is the money blocked? Like, where is these 10,236 euros uh, blocked? Um, this the money is blocked in a in a bank mm. um, as 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 it should and um, yeah the money is safe um, with uh, high security standards of EU banking regulation. Mm -hmm. All right, that that is good. And um, also, Dom, like, what would be the best practices that you would say? Like, you know, what kind of like payment um, these transfers should like people choose or what has been your experience so far with Indian customers? Like how long does it take for them to transfer the money to the blocked account? Um, yeah, so there, there are different providers you can, you can, um, you can use. We are also always try to make it as simple and as cheap as possible. Mm -hmm. Um, in general, it's kind of a decision you have to do. Are you interested in using um, payment service provider, for example, or do you prefer to go to your bank and transfer the money from your bank? Because we are talking about a lot of money. Mm. And um, this is at the end a decision um, everyone should do by, by themselves. But what I can say, um, money transfer in general is um, at three to five business days. So mm. it's, um, it's fast. Um, sometimes we are also able to do it even faster but uh, this is a time period you should uh, you you should think about if you apply for a blocked account and if you have your visa appointment um don't open the uh, the um the blocked account a day before so then it's really stressful for everyone yeah. um it can be possible but um mm -hmm. Not receiving the visa because um, of, of a missing blocked account because you um, open it too late would be super super bad for you. Uh, yeah. So as I said, if you have the time, do it a week before, two weeks before. Then it's uh, everything will work uh, very smooth. Um, but yeah, mm -hmm. this is this is what I can um, what I can tell you about this. Mm -hmm. um, Dom Nosakri is asking, uh, can I fund the blocked account money in installments? maybe two or three like uh, transfers? Um, yeah, it's possible. Um, of course, it's not it's not very likely because uh, then you always have to, to see, okay, how much is missing and, um, and who is sending the money. Um, but in general, it's not a problem. Um, but we recommend if you're able um, to, to, to collect uh, the money uh, in one account, then transfer it also in, in, in one transfer to us. Because in this situation, let's say we have a closing order um, because your visa got rejected, then it's also um, yeah um, mm. important that everyone will receive the money back. So I can recommend uh, and highly recommend if you're able to uh, collect the money on, on your account, transfer to us, uh, and then it's super easy at the end. Yeah, that makes sense. And also one student was asking like do i uh, open the blocked account before or after the loan loan is sanctioned i think like i'll just quickly respond to this um Rushik, it's, it's super important to like you know once you have your admit that you already like are taking care of the block blocked account stuff you can open the blocked account like before having the loan money coming inside because then you at least have the um opening confirmation once you have the entire money transferred then you can like, you know, submit also this document afterwards in case the visa uh, appointment is like lying nearby, uh, anywhere close by. No? So, and, and just a few yep. words to add, um, we are not charging you um, if you transfer the money earlier. So mm -hmm. um, the monthly fee you have to pay, um, we just pay, um, deduct from your account uh, with the first uh, transfer you receive from us, which means Let's say you apply now for, for the blocked account and you transfer the money um, 1st of July. You will come to Germany 1st of November. In the meantime, we do not charge this uh, 5 euro per month, just from the 1st of, um, of November then. Um, so there are no extra and hidden costs on your end. Okay, that's, that's very nice to know. Um, and we have some more. Yeah. So Dom, uh, like we know Munich is a crazy expensive city and like it's like very like difficult to like live there for many students. So now students are asking like, does it make sense to like add more money in the blocked account? Is it allowed? 
uh, so that like they can live easily in like more expensive cities or should they like uh, manage something on their side? Yeah, so I would say it's better if you have your um, your bank account in the current account that uh, your parents will transfer uh, the money to this account. Um, mm-hmm. Because other than that, uh, we are just able to transfer 853 euro and then you would receive um, one time overpayment um, into this account. But um, yeah, I don't recommend this because uh, it's always kind of a discussion. And um, if you if you're able to receive the money as said in your in your current account, do it like this. It's much easier. Mm-hmm. All right. Um, then Akhil Rajgopal is saying, if I don't choose the Muni's bank service, which Expatrio provides, instead I go for a Sparkasse, then do I need to pay anything anything extra? So, yeah. No. Exactly. No, you do not have to pay extra. Um, it's just super convenience for you already applying and opening your bank account from abroad. So this is why we are working with Muniz. Um, and um, yeah, yeah, this will save time. But of course, um, if you are interested in, um, in opening any other bank, um, you can also contact us because we also uh, recommend N26, for example. Um, but in general, um, this service is super easy and um, as I said, you will save a lot of time. And another uh, benefit, we already have the right even. Uh, so um, you, as you have to um, to upload your even in our system and um, sometimes uh, yeah, mistakes can happen. So with Moniz, we can make sure that the right even is on the right space and um yeah we will transfer the money uh, on a very easy way to you and you have access to this mm-hmm. yeah um right and i mean i can also add to that like i'm i was using like uh hamburger fox bank and it was a pain i tell you like sparkasse fox bank all of these these are like more traditional bank accounts and like many a times you have to like go there and like op- get the account statements and everything. And when you have these online banking apps, like you have your Moniz, N26 and all of these other uh, bank accounts, like it's super convenient for you to like just see any kind of things which are happening in your bo- uh, in your current account from anywhere. So like this is the reason like, you know, uh, Expatria is also like working very closely with that. There's another question, Dom. Uh, which is, hi Bharat, uh, if I were to open the blocked account now and due to the current situation have to defer the admit to let's say summer intake 2021, would I mm-hmm. be able to extend the validity validity of this blocked account? Yeah, so you can store the money um, for, for 12 months in our account. Um, this is not a problem. And after 12 months, we would get in contact with you um, and to ask um, do you need the money or um, are you planning to, to come to Germany? Should we maybe close your account or um, maybe you will arrive within the next, uh, let's say, three months. Uh, so then we can store the money still for you. So the, the current situation is super, super difficult and yeah. uh, we try to be uh, as flexible as we can. Um, so you can open it now. You can store the money there. Don't worry. It's not a problem. Mm-hmm. Yeah, makes sense. Uh, Sudesh is asking how and when do we have to pay the uh, account opening fee? Um, is it to be paid separately at the beginning or should it be added to my 10,263 euros so that I can pay everything in one transaction? So I think like they're meaning the, um, they mean the, yeah, the service fee per month or something. Does it get automatically deducted or do they have to like pay everything in the starting? I think they have to pay in the starting, right? When they're applying for the yeah, yeah, so I can I can quickly uh, share my screen again. Yeah. Um, to... mm-hmm. Here, this is, uh, let's calculate your total block amount. Um, this is a page we, we discussed and uh, here you can see this is a total block amount you should be should you should transfer and uh, they are all uh, fees included. And in the value package, this 49 euro would be um, would be um, sent back in in your account uh, where you will have this cash back mm-hmm. all right That's so this cool. would happen automatically by the way yeah all right now we have actually um another question what if i get scholarship and it covers my expenses every month then i don't need a blocked account right 
Sure, this is right. Um, but you have to make sure that your scholarship will, uh, yeah, uh, will be long enough uh, yeah. so that you um, not only just cover, let's say, six months. If you have a visa for twelve months, uh, then you have to make sure that uh, you have, um, yeah, or that you provide the federal foreign office or the government that you have enough money um, to survive in Germany, which yeah. is this eight hundred fifty-three euro. Um, but yeah, of course. So um, you do not have to open a blocked account if you have a scholarship uh, for this uh, time period and um, with this amount of money. Mm -hmm. um, there's another interesting question. Uh, Alvin Alexander is asking if I transfer 10,236 euros now and block my account and if later the blocked account amount changes, which I heard they might increase blocked account money, will I have to transfer again the remaining money? Yeah, so this is a um, super interesting case. And uh, as you remember, maybe Bharat, we had this uh, situation last year yeah. uh, as um, the the uh, blocked account changed from 720 to 853. Um, yeah, in this case, of course, we need this additional amount. But the good thing is, um, as you're maybe already in Germany, and you maybe already have a German bank account, you can easily transfer this money also from Germany without any fees. So, um, yeah, but in this case, um, you, you need to transfer, um, the missing, the missing money. Yes. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, and Dom, Arjan is saying, can we receive additional amount in the first month to pay for rent and security deposit on accommodation instead of the last? No, uh, we are always, and this is automatic process. Uh, so people will receive this 853 euro, um, monthly wise. Um, there I can just give you a hint, um, make sure that you have a bit cash money with you. Um, mm -hmm. this is super important. Maybe Bharat, you yeah. can also share your experiences. Because... Absolutely. <laughs> no guys, that's, that's super important. Like when you're coming to Germany, like don't just completely rely on the current account opening up and like things just like going as smoothly as you would want them to be, because there are always surprises here and there. So it's like a good practice that you have at least like 800 to 1000 euros like set aside. Maybe it could be in like, let's say 500 euros in a Forex card and 500 euros cash, whatever you feel like distribute the money like that. And maybe even like take some kind of your own debit card, which is like Visa or MasterCard from India. So that like you have some kind of cash cushion on the side. And um, in case like things get delayed or something, um, things, you know, do not go wrong in that scenario. Right, um, Bhushan Jadav is asking, in case if I have to close my blocked account, will I get the whole refund of my blocked account or will I have to pay some fine? So it depends. Um, if your visa got rejected, for example, then um, we do not charge you. Um, if you decide by your own because um, whatever a situation, um, this is case by case discussion um, and decision by us. But um, if a visa got rejected or you do not have to pay, we will transfer the money back. Uh, of course, it can happen that there are some additional fees. Um, this fees got paid from the from the buffer, um, but that's it. Mm -hmm. Okay, okay. So that is also good. And Dom, maybe like a thought for future. Somebody is asking, does Expatrio also provide education loan? <laughs> Are you planning on doing that sometime in the future? Um, yes, yeah, so there, there, um, there are um, a few interesting companies who are who are doing um, in, in dealing with this. Uh, so maybe this would be um, one of the future things we can we can discuss. Yeah. Um, that Expatrio is doing this by themselves. Um, yeah. I don't I don't think so because uh, we we. Um, we are one stock shop. Um, we bring the best products together. Um, but yeah, so maybe this would be also a um, nice thing for the future. Yeah, absolutely. I think then we have like kind of uh, run out of questions. I think most of the important ones are already answered. The, the most important thing is again, like, you know, if you have any kind of um, admit that you're receiving in your um, from your universities, make sure that you're already starting your bureaucratic stuff 
which I showed uh, with, the, with the visa checklist, right? You have the proof of financial means, you have to show the blocked account in case you don't have like, you know, 1,000 or 2,000 euros of scholarship every single month for the next 12 um, months or two years or something. Or like if you have a sponsor who is living in Germany, right? So most of the cases, 99% of the cases, you have to open a blocked account. And this is the reason like you should be like getting, um, yeah, you, you should be starting these processes as soon as possible. Because even though, yes, of course, like we have heard cases in our Facebook group where like students tell us like, hey, I opened the blocked account with Expatrio. It got opened in 24 hours, right? Like, of course, it's nice and it's, it's super, uh, it's a super nice thing. But like there are always things like which can go maybe a, a, bit, de a bit delayed or something. So make sure that you are like getting onto the these things as soon as possible. The blocked account is valid for the next 12 months. So you don't have to worry about that your like money is already getting charged or something. Um, no, nah, and uh, Nippon is asking, what about the third party liability insurance? Is it not included now? Um, so it's not included, but as you have a cashback of 49 euro, um, you can easily apply um, on our page for liability insurance, which is uh, around 40 euro. Um, and then you could uh, could invest your cash back uh, to um, to open liability insurance. Yeah. What you were saying is it possible to open a blocked account even if we are applying for the visa three four months later? Yeah, of course. I mean, r rather like at least have this kind of buffer, like you know, one month, two months, even three months. Like that's that's nothing bad. Like then you have everything. Yeah. Absolutely. So absolutely. So sometimes I said it can be uh, that you will have. Um, yeah, very short, short um, appointment where where you receive a you can you can jump in in two weeks. But in general, um, also the, the the time where you have uh, yeah to proceed and, um, and 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 to plan everything is is a bit longer. Yeah, yeah. And Dom, I, I think I'll take up this question. Um, Sai is asking: It is really difficult for people in India to bring one thousand euros as we are applying for education loans. Since we have no uh, money left aside, again, we can't bring additional. Since part, you know, um, India, how the middle class is. Well, Sai, I totally understand what you mean. Um, but like in that case, maybe the loan amount that you get sanctioned, you know, like that is maybe something you should like get extra because trust me, any kind of like things can go wrong. And this is the reason like you should have those money set aside. If you put it inside a blocked account, it is still the money, like 1000 euros, which you have, which is like just staying there. Or like you can just keep it with you, you can bring it with you. And in case like you absolutely need it, you can use it. Huh? This is what I'm telling you from my personal experience. I came to Germany in 2014 for a conference. Even then, like I had this kind of money set aside. And then I came for an internship in 2015. Again, I had like 800 euros or something that I came that I came with, um, which was also like set aside before I moved to Germany in 2016, like, you know, full time. So it's always a nice practice to have some kind of money set aside in case you need to go back in case you need to like do anything. You, you never know. Um, I totally yeah. agree. And this is not only if you come to Germany, I had the same experience as I, as I studied in Korea. It was also a good decision and just have a, a bit cash with me. Mm -hmm. And Dom, I've heard like Korea is actually super expensive. Is it? Yeah, it's quite similar to, uh, to, to Germany. Okay. Um, so it's uh, okay. Mm -hmm. um, but it's nice. Yeah. <laughs> but you should come to Germany yeah. before going to Korea. Absolutely. Uh, in my third semester, I was uh, planning to do my um, this exchange semester in, in uh, Seoul National University. And um, it, it kind of like didn't work out in the end because turned out the Kagaha told me that I have some extra 1,440 euros that I have to pay to them. And then like, of course, kind of like all of the plans screwed up. And at that time, when I was looking at the accommodation and stuff, I was like, hmm, um, Korea is actually not as cheap as I was thinking. So yeah, that, that was um, interesting. Uh, and there is one more question. Can we put... Yeah, I think that's already covered. Yeah, Dom, I think like most of the questions now we have already covered. I'm going to see if there's something new which is going to come up. Um, but otherwise, if there's like any kind of like other tips you want to share about maybe the after arrival processes, you know, once like the students are done and they have shown the blocked account and everything, and maybe they come to Germany now, 
uh, what kind of things would you say like are, are super important and they should like um, get done as soon as possible? So what I would say is be prepared with your documents you have to provide to um, to activate the account. So make sure that um, you have a copy of your visa, which you can upload in our um, in our um, login portal. The entry stamp, um, as I said, the icon uh, of the of the current account, uh, which we would receive with Muniz automatically. Um, and for technical contests, we also need your um, certificate of enrollment. And uh, last but not least, we need a German address. Um, so if you are able to register, send you uh, send us uh, the registration letter. Other than that, a so-called um, Wohnungsgeberbescheinigung um, or the contract of the landlord, um, and then we are able to proceed or to proceed the uh, the, the, the payouts super quick uh, that you have access to the money. Um, other than that, of course, I can I can highly recommend uh, to learn a few German words yeah. uh, because it makes uh, it much much easier. Um, but this is, um, I guess, also a thing about uh, can can uh, share even better than than yeah. I can do. Yeah, yeah, I think like in, in general, like it's super important that you're already like coming up with some kind of German proficiency because there might be some kind of like important notices which are like just hanging all around you. And maybe like just because you don't know German, you don't like get to read them. You're in the university and maybe you're looking for a part time job and the job offer is in German and maybe it fits your profile. Everything is like perfectly fine. But again, because you don't know German, you're not going to come across it. So there are a lot of like missing opportunities that I personally said, like this is the really important part, like, you know, why you should be like learning German. You have a lot of time once you get the admits and stuff, let's say May or something until the time you come October, you know, there are like courses which teach you one level per month. So that's also possible, like just invest in like, uh, um, yeah, language learning. And I think you should be fine. Uh, Dom, there's, um, I think one important question that we again, like, I think didn't yet cover, which is like, do we need a blocked account for the second year? In my experience of what I've like heard from other students is like some cities say yes, like you need to show others say like, no, uh, what has your experience been? Yeah, nothing to add. This is exactly what we also experienced. <laughs> But the good thing is you can super easy extend your blocked account with uh, Expatrio. Mm -hmm. Okay. So um, it's like, again, we, we cannot say like, you know, if, if they have to show or not, like they have to talk to the Auslanders beholder and then afterwards exactly. um, see how it works. It also depends if you can provide a job already or, or whatever. Um, so this is uh, really difficult to answer with mm -hmm. yes or no. Okay. Okay. Uh, and Tom, another one, there's, uh, would the university provide a cheaper health insurance directly from TK or is it wiser to get it as part of a bundle from Expatria or other third parties? So now uh, you can try to find a cheaper one, but yeah. it will be really difficult. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> absolutely. So, um, this is a good thing um, on, on TK. Uh, they're really um, the best awarded um, public health insurance here in Germany also for international students, um, and they are super cheap. Um, yeah. And if you compare uh, other providers, um, you will, yeah, understand and you will see very simple how much money you can save uh, with Technica Krankenkasse. And in the combination with Expatriate, our value package, um, it's even more money you can save. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, Chintan Chai is asking, is changing the travel date um, possible? Yeah, you can do it in our login portal. This is not a problem. Okay, okay. Perfect. You will also find uh, just just um, uh, a hint from my side. If you um, if you are able to um, to check our FAQs, you will find um, tons of information about this. And I would say ninety five percent of the questions uh, you guys ask me, uh, you will also find in our FAQ section. Yeah. So I'm just showing showing, showing it to them real quick. Um, we have the entire um, FAQs on COVID, then Expatrio partners, data protection, value package, then what are the components, the benefits, pricing, and more. And then you have the blocked account uh, details, the blocked account opening, total blocked account, uh, money transfer, and more, health insurance, public health insurance, private health insurance, health insurance plus, and more. And then you have the additional offers. 
So you have the current bank account, ISIC, Degas membership, liability insurance, stay safe insurance, repatriation insurance, and more. Yeah, I think there's a lot of stuff that you can just like kind of go through and like read through um, if you're like super interested in this, because I think the important thing is to take this thing seriously, especially like when you're looking forward to having an admit from a university. Because once that milestone is done, then like these things just get fast tracked and you have to make sure that you know about these things, that you have done your research and you're not then starting out to look, hey, like what should I do now? Like I have the admit. So, right, that, that was, um, I think the important things that we have now discussed. All right, Dom, I think um, that is um, pretty much it. Like we don't have any more questions from the students. I think the session was super nice and we also went through all of the details one by one. Um, is, is there something, uh, uh, some extra things that you would like to add before uh, we close the webinar? No, um, so I, I hope that we will see us as soon as possible here in Germany. Um... This is this is the only thing I can I can add. So I guess uh, as Barrett already said, we gave all, uh, you all the information you need. If there are some specific questions, you always can also contact our uh, customer service. Uh, they will they will also help you. Um, other than that, I guess uh, everything is is set. And um, yeah, hope to see you soon. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. I hope everything works out. And guys, thanks a lot for joining in. Thank you, Dom, for taking out the time to show us the details of the value package. And um, yeah, we'll be in touch next month with another interesting webinar. So tune in for that. And we'll see you all the next time. Bye bye. See you. Bye.